Oliver and Champi by Werner Stesko Volume 4 Unhappy Dog Good Deed Day Moon Crystal Is this your first encounter with Oliver and Champi? Yes? Then let me tell you about them. Oliver is an elegant tomcat and Champi is his best friend. They are always on the lookout for new adventures together. Oliver lives in a tree house on the mighty oak tree. He is the most famous cat in the country. Good Deed Day by Werner Stesko Illustrator Macy Ann Reyes I wanted to help my best friend Stripey a tigress who had lost her newborn baby. She was always sad and became sicker every day. The best thing would be for her to have another baby to look after. Mrs. Piggy was having more children this year than she could handle. Help would come in handy. Stripey is very lonely without her own baby. I was wondering if she could babysit some of yours. Oh yes, said Mrs. Piggy. But would a tiger like to look after piglets? She might eat them. Don't worry, she will look after them nicely. I told Stripey that Mrs. Piggy would need help urgently. Stripey thought she might not be up to it but finally agreed to do it. The next day, Mrs. Piggy brought Pyre, Pure and Pio, two girls and one boy, to Stripey. I promised to look after them really well. The three piglets were intimidated by the big cat and did not want to leave their mum. When Stripey let them enjoy her tiger milk, they became more content. Stripey gave the piglets a hunting lesson. First, she taught them how to chase. They enjoyed the fun, but it did not work out too well. Pigs have hooves and no claws for catching. Piglets are also always squeaking, and that scares everybody away. One day Stripey's husband came home and was surprised to see his wife with three piglets. You are very clever to keep dinner running around the house. Let's have this fat piglet for a meal now. He was ready to catch pyre. No, you don't. I'm looking after them for Mrs. Piggy, and I promised they will be all right. He was disappointed about missing out on an easy dinner. After a while, the piglets had grown to almost full size, and Stripey told me that she was expecting another baby. We were all very excited for her, and wished her the best of luck this time around. A few months later, another meow was in the air. Can I return the piglets to Mrs. Piggy? I am now busy with my own baby, Stripey said. Her lovely baby girl is almost as big as I am, and I have to watch out when playing with meow. How about having a piglet as a pet, and not a dog? They are very clever. Do you like to fly to the moon? Moon Crystal by Werner Stesko Illustrator Marvin Alonso The president of Zealandia wanted me to bring crystals from the moon for our hospital. It makes sick people well again. The man in the moon was inviting us. I agreed 
if Champion Joey could come. Our friend, the giant, tossed our space capsule towards the moon in one powerful throw. Hooray! We were off at lightning speed. Far above Zealandia, we were enjoying our flight. Earth seemed like a sparkling blue and white jewel as we flew farther and farther away from home. Earth was like a pearl in a sea of blackness. The moon appeared larger and larger. We could make out all the big craters on the surface. Oh no, what's going on? The three of us could feel the sudden impact as we hit the ground. We screamed. Luckily, the walls were padded, so we were not hurt. We had landed upside down and could not do anything but release our seat belts. We floated down slowly because there is less gravity on the moon. Jumpy opened the door and we hopped out. Jumpy was happy to have arrived and did a big jump. On the moon you can jump much higher. When she finally came back down, she went right back up again. She was like a ball bouncing up and down. Joey and I had a nap until Chumpy was much lower. Then we were able to grab her. Chumpy had alerted the moon man with all of her jumping. They arrived to welcome us. Mu minu gonde gaga bilu, said one of the little green men. I answered, Gigi gogo kimsai bundi. He gestured for us to follow him. The man in the moon smiled gently. Welcome. Go down to harvest the crystals. The white overalls we had to wear were much too big. We burst out laughing. But we had a lot of fun sliding all the way down to the center of the moon. We had to recite a magic poem so that the crystals were released from the other rocks. When put on a sick person's chest, a crystal's power can heal quickly. Soon many crystals yielded to our request. We were ready to head home again. Golden crystal of the deep, kindly wake and leave your sleep. Thy purpose is to spend your heat to heal the creatures sore in need. There are no giants on the moon, so the little green man used the catapult to shoot our space ball back to Zealandia. Our ball was soon bouncing right back into the lake near my treehouse. Mooney bye. Unhappy Dog by Werner Stesko Illustrator Macy N. Reyes Every day I walk past a large house when going to play golf. A big noisy dog is always barking. Finally, I really got sick of the daily racket. Why do you always bark? I asked upset. That's my job. Dogs bark at cats, he replied, astonished. I'm envious of you walking about. I'm bored stiff in the backyard, he moaned. Why don't you jump over the fence, I asked. Dogs can't jump as cats, he answered. 
Maybe we can help you come with us on a day out. I would be very grateful. Woof, woof. The next day I took Chumpy and Joey to Barky's house. All his people had left until evening. Chumpy easily reached over the fence and grabbed Barky with both her arms. And poof, he was over the fence. Hey, thanks! This is my first time out on the street without a leash. Barky jumped around excitedly. I had never seen a happier dog. Let's go to the meadow together. We can play there, Joey suggested. He had brought a ball with him. And soon a game was in progress. Barky loved to play ball. We had a lovely afternoon. When everybody was tired, we rested on our picnic blanket. Chumpy found a lot of goodies in her seemingly bottomless pouch. Time had passed very fast. Barky quickly ran up Chumpy's back and over the fence. I could already hear a car coming up the road, so we hurried away. We had done a good deed and it would surely not be the last time. We will take Barky out again. Doggy bye. Thank you very much for reading Oliver and Chumpy. You are now a special friend and you will be able to take part in all their adventures.